she was sitting there and she had crouched down in the seat and she was like, it hurts, it hurts. And so we panicked. The family of Jesse Roberts is in mourning tonight after a stray bullet took her life over the weekend. The bullet traveled from the Vibe nightclub to the drive through of the Crystal fast food restaurant where Roberts was waiting in her car. Now, while the investigation hasn't revealed what type of bullet was used tonight, we're looking into just how far bullets travel when fired from a handgun. Yeah, experts say most people would be surprised to see the distance that these bullets can cover. A recent stray bullet was shot from the Vibe on Broadway and killed an innocent bystander sitting in a crystal drive through around 500 feet away. It may seem like a shock that the bullet did so much damage from that distance, but gun experts say many people don't know how far a bullet can travel. The average person probably does not know. It would take somebody that was into the hobby to understand how far a handgun caliber or even a long gun caliber bullet will travel. While we don't know what kind of gun or caliber bullet was used in the most recent shooting, experts say any type of gun could have done serious damage. The most common round and the most easy, easiest round to get, and cheapest round, is a 22 caliber, can travel about 1.5 miles giving a 12,000 foot altitude. Many factors go into where a bullet travels, like wind, obstacles, weight of the bullet, and trajectory. But experts say if it were on a flat surface with no other obstacles, a 22 caliber from a handgun could have almost made it from the Vibe to Zoo Knoxville. 45 caliber bullet can go about 5,000 feet in distance. Nine millimeter can travel two and a half to three miles, sometimes a little further, depending on the shape of the bullet, the amount of powder loaded into the cartridge, and of course elevation. From the Vibe, a 9mm bullet has the potential to travel past Neyland Stadium. Having collateral damage from a firearm that's discharged when somebody's firing and not aiming properly, for example, just shooting wildly, is very likely that somebody can cause death, injury, and it's not something that those of us that deal with safety in firearms want to see happen. Now the owner at Knoxville Gun Range says they recommend specific training for the type of gun you own. They can't stress this enough. All guns, bullets, and situations are different, and they say it's important to know your firearm front to back.